Well, everyone, it looks like Apple's gonna be releasing or at least working on some sort of HomePod iPad Frankenstein machine that's meant to be the central hub of your whole HomeKit setup. So without further ado, let's talk about exactly what Apple's cooking up here because according to some reports by Mark Gurman, this could be coming sooner rather than later. Let's get into it. Now, before we jump into this, I do wanna ask a question down below. Are you somebody that kind of lives inside of HomeKit? Do you have a lot of smart home accessories? Do you control a lot of those smart home accessories via the home application? Or are you somebody that kind of just buys whatever is the cheapest and maybe you can use Google Home or Alexa, or again, something like HomeKit and you just kind of are all over the place. Let me know in the comment down below. I'm definitely team HomeKit, although it took me a while to really convert from something like Google Home over to HomeKit because there was a lot more smart home enabled products for Alexa and Google versus for HomeKit. But now with Matter and with more accessories being more readily available at a much cheaper price point for HomeKit, it's getting a little bit more accessible to be able to now create these perfect smart home HomeKit setup. So let me know in the comment down below if you're somebody that likes to live in the smart home ecosystem. And now let's quickly break down the HomePod situation as well in terms of how people use it as a smart device, as a smart assistant, and as a kind of HomeKit hub that people use already. So right now what Apple's offering, they have the HomePod 2 and then they also have different colors of the HomePod mini. Both work pretty much the same. One is just a better sounding device versus the other one is a little bit smaller, a little bit cheaper, a little bit more accessible from a cost perspective. And for the most part, they do the same exact thing. They have their own version of Siri, which is very similar to what we have on Siri with iOS 17. And from right now, what we're understanding, there is no plans of bringing Apple intelligence or AI over to these HomePods because of the chipset that they're running. And as of right now, the only chips that are able to run Apple intelligence will be the M-powered computers, so M-powered iPads, M-powered MacBooks, and then also the A17 Pro enabled iPhones, which is just a 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max as of this video. So it really is a shame that the old HomePods, which again, I have HomePod minis all over my house and I've had them since the very beginning and they're great speakers, especially for the size that they have and the functionality and the way that they live inside of the Apple ecosystem. So it is a shame that Apple intelligence will not be coming there. And as of right now, the way that I use HomePods is very, very basic. I'll ask it to set a timer, I'll ask it to turn off and on some lights, I'll ask it for a little bit of the intercom features when necessary, but again, that's far and in between. So for the most part, it's mostly just to get some quick facts, set timers, and then ultimately control all my smart home accessories. But now there are rumors that Apple's going to be creating this new HomePod with some sort of iPad-like display that's running something similar to tvOS, because we did find out early on, probably early this year, that Apple was testing out tvOS on an iPad mini to kind of see what that would be like to be a smart smart home hub. So I think the idea here for this robotic arm, this smart hub, this kind of speaker, HomePod, iPad kind of situation is that Apple's going to be getting basically a HomePod. Now we don't know what the form factor is going to be, if it's going to be the same size, the same, again, form factor, the same kind of style, or if it's going to be something completely different, but it'll also have some sort of display on there for you to be able to interact with running some sort of version of tvOS with the main use case being a smart home hub. So I can see a perfect situation where somebody walks up towards this new HomePod, the display brightens up because it senses that you're there, Face ID gets enabled, it opens up, and you're greeted with some sort of version of HomeKit. You have different smart accessories that you can interact with both with your voice as well as with touch. And then finally, again, it is going to be a great speaker to have around the house to not only be used for music, but then also for intercom and as well as a Siri assistant. And it is rumored that this device will have an A18 chip, which is what's supposed to be an iPhone 16 and the iPhone 16 Plus models, which should enable you to have something like Apple Intelligence built right in there. Now, I also know a ton of people that use tvOS and their Apple TVs as their central HomeKit hub because it's easy to use, it's on a larger display, you can see all your different cameras, all your different accessories, control it via Siri using the Apple remote and things like that. So having that as kind of the main system, I think Apple's gonna be creating some sort of new operating system that combines things like iPadOS, tvOS, and then also the home application to create some sort of like maybe iHomeOS, you know, if you guys remember what an iHome is back in the day, you know, if you know, you know. But having some sort of home OS system built into this iPad-like display on the HomePod is going to be a great thing to see, especially for those people like myself that likes to use this as a main accessory hub. Okay, so that's all fine and dandy, and you're probably thinking to yourself, all right, where did this whole robotic arm situation come into play? Because there has been rumors that this is gonna have some robotic-like tendencies, whether it is an arm, or it's gonna be able to swivel, or move, or rotate. 
And I think that's because Apple's going to kind of level up what they already call center stage. So you remember when I think it was iPadOS 15 came out, maybe it was iPadOS 16, Apple introduced center stage as a way for the camera to follow you along, especially because people that were using the iPads to FaceTime had that little camera on the bottom left corner when held in landscape mode. And that was very annoying. So Apple's kind of thought about this was to change it and help out with software by creating center stage where you as a main subject can be tracked to kind of be put in the middle somewhat. It was a little bit hit or miss every now and then, but it did work in terms of keeping you centered. Now I think Apple's gonna do something very similar with this new HomePod and this new iPad-like structure. It's gonna be able to swivel 360 degrees, move up and down 180 degrees, and be able to be used in, in rotation, both physically as well as with software. So I think that's where the robotic tendencies come to play, where maybe if you talk to it, it'll rotate to where your voice is, or if you are FaceTiming, it'll follow you along a room, things like that. So from a function standpoint, it's gonna be a little bit better to be able to interact with it. So it's a little bit more kind of personal when you are interacting with this new HomePod robotic arm kind of product that they're gonna be creating. Then I think it's gonna be more so where it's gonna be the speaker that you can actually magnetically attach to the display or it could be a static display that remains on there forever. But it would be cool to be able to remove something like an iPad and use the three pin connectors to then slap another iPad on there depending on who you are. And then maybe it morphs into that user and then it morphs the actual HomePod into what that user is that's signed onto the iPad. But but let's see how Apple actually implements all this stuff. And now the biggest thing here is going to be price because Apple's rumored to be releasing this. They're saying sub $1,000 in terms of what's being kind of thrown out there. But at sub $1,000, just for a smart speaker that maybe can't be removed from a display standpoint and can't be much more than that, I'm not really sold on something like that. I will just continue to use my HomePod minis. Again, Apple might be quadrupling down on Apple intelligence and saying that that's gonna be why it's gonna be worth so much because you need to have the A18 in there. And it's gonna be the smartest machine we've ever made and the smartest assistant and things like that. So maybe that's how they sell it. But the fact that it might not be a removable display, which I think needs to happen in order to be at this price point, I'm probably gonna stick with my own HomePods that I have right now, the HomePod minis especially. But it will be cool to see what Apple ends up doing because this is gonna be somewhat of a new product category, right? Yes, we've had the HomePods. Yes, we've had the Siri Assistant. Yes, Apple Intelligence is gonna be a finally available come October to everybody and things like that. But this is gonna be a combination of all of those things into one and Apple hasn't really done that yet. So let's see exactly what Apple does. Leave some comments down below what you think. Is this something that you think would be worth it to you? Are you somebody that, like I said earlier, lives in the home application, lives inside of HomeKit, has a bunch of accessories that could find this useful? Let me know, but I do think Apple needs to make this a removable tablet to then be used as somewhat as an iPad mini or maybe an iPad 10 generation as an actual iPad to be able to be thrown around the house and be used, you know, maybe by your kids or something like that to add a little bit of extra value because if it's just going to be a standalone HomePod with a display at $1,000, that's gonna be a tough sell in my opinion, unless the speaker blows everybody away. But, but let me know with a comment down below what you think. And if you made it to the end of this video, leave a little dolphin so I know that you made it to the end of this video in the comments as well. And let me know what you think of this new setup, working on some new kind of visuals and things to do in terms of making this look a little bit better. But that'll do it everybody. If you wanna watch some more videos like this one, click on one of these videos right here. And until next time, I'm Fernando, and I'm out of here, everybody. Peace.